So let's go ahead and get this going. Let's load. All right. <clears throat> what? 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 Huh? Well, this is a little bit of a shift. Also turning it down on my end because whew, that's loud. E. Uh. <gasps> Animation. Oh. What? Two people killing? Two. What? That is really loud. Oh wow. Huh? Huh? Stabby McStabbers and one? Huh? Huh? That, that's how I feel right now. Huh? What? Huh? It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. Why? You have a job! I must say, what kind of fucking attorney are you if you're saying no to offers? Right? For real! Would I ever consider making a soapbox label? Yes. If, d down the line. But moving on. That is, until the day that girl showed up. February 22nd, 10.22 a.m. <laughs> Right in Cola offices. How fitting that we get back to Ace Attorney February 22nd. Because <laughs> it wow. is also. What are the odds? I did not even think about that. That's kind of cool. All right, moving on. Why do I come here to the office every day? Because it's your job. It's like you're a lawyer. It's like it's the building's in your name. It's not like I want to work. Well, you should. You have to, to pay the rentsies, to buy the groceries. <laughs> what else are you going to do? There you are, finally. I heard girl, so I'm like, girl. Huh? Who are you? What voice do I give her? Oh. Uh, where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Phoenix? Phoenix just standing there like, huh? Phoenix? <laughs> um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am, it only matters who you are! The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey! Um... Oh, honey, you are behind? Honey... Honey boo boo... Please, I, I appreciate the candor of being open-minded of potentially Phoenix being- having a female name such as Mia Fey. A feminine name, that is. I appreciate the open-endedness of understanding that maybe it's a man with a woman's name. Maybe it's a masculine person with a feminine name. I totally get it. Please reconsider. <laughs> Please reconsider the stance. Oh! Uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? No, but I appreciate the candor of being assertive on that. That's cool, <laughs> I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey no longer works here. So you are the coffee boy? No. I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait! You're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? I mean, my name's on the box. For real, right? It's like, um... Yes, that's correct. Wasn't Edgeworth who was... It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. <laughs> that's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not taking care... Dude, it's been two months. You're probably behind two months of rent. Probably three upcoming. You gotta take a case. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time! What? Please, you have to help! It's... it's my sister! Oh! The parallels are paralleling! <laughs> time to grind into your emotions! 
somewhere in the back of Phoenix's head. Now I'm a little motivated. <laughs> Maya, could it be? I mean, it doesn't help that she also has that same little bun like Maya does. And also, she's looking away the exact, just, just like a mirror opposite direction of Maya. It doesn't, she's not helping her case. Okay, I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much! My name's Emma. Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? Uh, well, first and foremost, let, who are you? Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator. Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of uh, jumpy. Uh, maybe just young? Young? I'll be 16 years old. You are way too young! <laughs> Honey Boo, where is your parents? Where are your parents? Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. So you're How not a scientific investigator. Goodness. You're a scientific investigator in training. You are literally growing up to be a scientific investigator. I would be very shocked if you were one. That means you mean you're a child genius. Are you a child genius? My work is becoming quite well known. At my age, no less. So you are a child genius. Okay. Um, so what exactly is your current position then? Well, legally speaking... I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. <laughs> Never fucking mind. <laughs> ah, great. And also, wasn't like Maya 17 or so when we yeah, were Yeah, 17 the reaching game? 18, yeah. But I'm ready to do my job. Had my age, no less. Great. Another future professional in training. That, I, I guess. Um, before I talk about this case. So, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm not a child. I'll have you know <sighs> Fucking Ariel. I'm 16 years old. I'm not a child. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are, honey. If you legally cannot vote, you are a child. <laughs> it's like, you cannot vote. You cannot be drafted, and you cannot buy porn. Therefore, you are a child. You are a child. If you cannot access a legal porn site, you are a child. <laughs> My lord. Still, it's a goal. I'll obey a very usual, unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure can't fault her for a lack of enthusiasm. But if this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. I guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to my sister. Now hold on, let's talk- well, what- what is going on? What exactly is going on? So, what is this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it! She wouldn't stab someone with a knife! She wouldn't! So... So... it's a murder case. I yeah, no, no, it's fine. He just fell on the knife. Right? I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it! It's fine. The witness, I saw her stab him 28 times. 28 stab wounds! <laughs> I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact! And... There's a witness. And there's a witness. Just talk to her! You have to talk to her! Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Maya Faye, but Mia Faye, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? Yeah, how do you know Mia? My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person was a few years below her in school. Oh, okay. So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And well... I need one. Mm, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. You're not close, are you? She's your last family member and you don't want to be left alone. The, the, the fade-out music already gave me that, that influence. Well... Actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Yep. Huh? But... 
But she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? He died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, uh, who would have seen that coming? Right? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Then I guess we'll go fuck off. All right. To the detention center. February 22nd, defension. De de defension? Detention center. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard, I told I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. Sister, sorry, ma'am, it's j j j your sister. No excuses. What did you not want a raise this year, hmm? I'm sorry? That's a lot of nuts! Uh, Wrong button. I understood, ma'am. What, 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 what was that all about? Huh? Uh, hi, Lana. At least turn around, bitch. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? L look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. And you have the same fucking hairstyle as Mia, too. What the hell? Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard... quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. Cool. Oh. You're a prosecutor? Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? No, it's the writers wanting to just kind of tickle your balls a little bit. Yep, yep. Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like... Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? No. I... yeah. Let, let's... let's talk. Who are you, first and foremost? I need to get to know you. So, you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handed by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my... <clears throat> Those are my responsibilities, in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Huh? Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident, but I stabbed him, that is. Wait, so you're just full-on admitting that you did? Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Pretty much just like with, uh, fucking Edgeworth. Believing that he shot the other dude. It seems like it. Or maybe she actually is, and she- and this is a losing case. Time to change the suspect, cause... You can't have a defense attorney have a perfect record. It could be a, a legitimate losing case. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I think there's like a future case where like we actually have to defend a criminal. Like that they really are guilty or something like that. And he it's it's a loose like loose loose situation for us or something like that. Yeah. Wait. She was in class ahead of Maya. Of Mia, wasn't she? Uh Mia. Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, did she? Well, well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! He was in law school. I was in my third year and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That... Probably why she was attracted to me. Excuse me? 
Intellectually attracted, Lana was top of her class in school. Sure she was. I was the best there was. Oh, I thought two pairs of scissors were about to kiss. What? <laughs> I was doing pretty good at school too, by the way! It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Um, okay, so what what the hell is going on here? There's something you should know from the start. Which is... The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait! But the suspect... The suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st at 5.15pm. That's quite specific. It was in the witness's disposition. The witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's, off prosecutor's office, huh? In the trunk of your subordinate's car? Trunk? Classy. I was arrested on the spot. Caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's just great. Okay, so who was the victim? Who, what caused this crime of passion? So who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. It ain't gumshoe. I'll throw things if it's gumshoe, but it ain't gumshoe. No way. A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you. Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh oh. What? What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, excuse me? As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say, there's no way you can take this case. None. B but Lana! Why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself! I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know! So... So how can you say you did? If I lose you... I'll be all alone. I... I hate you, Lana! <sighs> Mr. Wright? Yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest... I leave to you. You didn't do it, did you? You have to take it knowing the full brunt of the police force will be on you. <sighs> kind of... crappy, in regards to being able to just try and defend yourself when you have a sister who he looks up to you and takes care of you. As an older sister... Mildly disappointed. But, at least you're now putting it in the hands of someone else rather than trying to be irresponsible with that on your own. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. The case is over. Right, I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on. And I'm going to find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? Uh, about what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. 
She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... Well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Oh, okay! Alright. Is there anything you want to talk about? No. Okay, let's go. Alright. Interesting locale. So, this is the lot where it all happened? Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone! Keep up the good work! Hey! What are you thinking? Well, they're going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know attorneys aren't supposed to be examining crime scenes. Try not to stand out too much here, see? Is this our... slowly developing brain cell friend of ours? Gumshoe? I don't know, actually. Can we just assume? That means say the line is going to be that way. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Hey there. You expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? That, that's not gumshoe at all. That is definitely not gumshoe. I apologize. P partner? Huh? What do we have here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch. It's up to no good. I'm sorry, bambina? <laughs> we are not in Texas, sir. Folks well, we gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. Are you calling her a bitch? <laughs> Mr. Marshall! Marshall. Looks more like a sheriff to me. Nice knife you got there, buddy. Interesting that you seem so proficient with that knife. What was the, what was the murder case again? Oh, right, a stabbing. Interesting. Look here, Bambina. I know how you feel. Well, this is my gang's goal to strike, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory, with a mother load of evidence. I don't see your piss anywhere here, so you didn't mark shit. If you're fixing the mess with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. I would love to see you try. I would love to see it. You know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream? You want to? I know that plants are sentient, but you assume that they dream? What is this guy talking about? You head along home now. At Betrayals, Bambina. Hello, wallet on the ground. Ah, don't worry about it. Was that a... Ombre? A friend of yours? I tried to sound as white as possible saying that. I'm so sorry. He kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems. Now hold the phone. What's this? A wallet? Uh, excuse me, officer. Don't! Wait! What are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything in a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. How, how was that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. Well, hastily stuffed into pocket. A foldable wallet found a crime scene. There seems to be something inside. I'm called to duty already and at my tender age. Here, I'll teach the trick of examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now let's look at the court record. Okay. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Wait, this entire time we haven't been able to do this, and now we finally get the ability to actually look at the evidence? The reason why is because this case was added to the DS version, which, of course... Uh, if you remember, the first three games were on the Game Boy Advance. 
Yeah. So now that we're on a, the DS, now they're incorporating touchscreens and mics and all that shit. Oh, shit! Let's go! Now, let's start examining from every angle. Okay. Aha! Okay. Oop, 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 oop. Something's inside here. This, can I... Oh, look! I think there might be a clue in here. Y yeah. You should check it out with the press of the A button. Click. This is like Resident Evil levels of examining shit. A little bit, yeah. This, this is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID 5842189. I'm gonna have to memorize that number. 5842... Where's my piece Don't worry, of paper? I have the guide here so you don't have to mem uh, remember things. Thank you. I'm like, where is the, where is the number? See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess. I guess. Though I don't see what science has to do with it. Yeah, listen, this is like basic ass investigation. Right? Goodman's ID is adds to the court record. Well, let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I've got to be on my toes from now on. All right, now hold on. Uh, what happened to the rest of the wallet? Again, this is like this is Resident Evil levels of investigating. Once you find the thing inside, I guess the wallet is just gone. Fair enough. Name and ID number are written here. Yep, so Bruce Goodman. I wonder why you only use numbers for IDs. Identification problems. Yeah. What else would they use? Letters, silly. They're the reason we have written language in the first place. True, but did you expect them to be like, what, Golden Eagle or something like that? Like, no. <laughs> numbers are just fine. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID. Yabadab. Yabadab. See? Wouldn't that be better? No. No. <laughs> Yabba dab. Well, it does have a certain ring to it. If you go yabba dabba do, <laughs> exactly my point. <laughs> it doesn't take much to amuse her. Fair enough point. Is this our victim? I think so. Yeah. Okay. We shall be eagle too. Exactly. All right. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. Can you just humor me? See if you could like examine the badge. So you can. Wait, what's that say? Two six three eight one. Uh, I thought like the the stuff on top actually said something. So this is what the back of a badge looks like, and I always thought it had a safety pin. Each badge has a number carved into it. That way you can tell which attorney it belongs to. You mean you couldn't lend your badge to anyone? No, I'd be found right away. Well, that's no fun. Interesting. Two six three eight one. All right. All right. Now. A ladder. Um, that's a step ladder. Oh, uh, here we go. What's the difference in scientific terms, please? S -s scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. I... Ladder, step it never ladder. never dies. Okay. And oh, there's like ladder, step ladder, okay. Um... Wait, slide. There we go. Oh, jeez. So the car got impounded. Okay. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, partner. Looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. Sir, I got a Texan boy with me that is willing to 100% whoop your ass. Try me. Sheriff. Like I said before, this here's a claim. You best be moseying along. Unless you're fixing to bite the bullet. How about a bitch? steel toe against your nuts? <laughs> That's scary. Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Well, well. Little Philly's got a good nose on her. You wanna know who rides that ring? Ring? That red Mustang with the body in her saddle, eh? Please. No problem, partner. About time for Vittles, anyway. Which, I'm pretty sure that's not how you actually spell Vittles, but anyway. Yeah, right? Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prosecutor's office. I just find you a cerveza. I, sorry, my inner Mexican decided to come out there. No, you're good. I just find you a cerveza you lack. Prospector's office? Where does this guy think he is, and when, for that matter? Oh, I said prosecutor. Oops. 
Note to self, look up Vittles Saloon Cerveza. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the high prosecutor's office. Wait, he did say prosecutor, right? Yeah, he's a prosecutor. Okay, sorry about that. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like. Just keep your paws off our claim. Did you piss on it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. No wonder it stinks. Right, great. Great! Maybe there's some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Excuse me. <laughs> Were you two all set? Us? Oh! What the fuck is up with your hat? I was about to say, why the fuck are you got like two onigiri up there? What? And the fucking choker has a fucking octopus on it. Are you just a bento girl? Are you a bento girl? What's this? She couldn't be. You're selling lunches? Here? This is a crime scene! You do realize that you, you, you have to keep that voice, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, Hello, uh, half and half, was it? Um, why would you assume that I want half and half? First of all, I'm sure it looks delicious, but if there's any natto in there, I'm literally shoving your face in it. It looks like it's fucking beans and, uh, I guess yellow rice. Oh, uh, thanks. And you, sir? Uh, yes. Oh! Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without a clearance, especially passers by. Or are you officers? Uh, no, but y you you don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even my days as the cough up queen are over. C cough up? Huh? What? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned in my eyes, as you might say. Ah, yes, all the sordid secrets. Witness! You're the witness, aren't you? Secrets? Hear me. You are a slow one, aren't you? I'm referring to the murder. The stabbing of that de detective. Oh. Also, you have heterochromia. What? A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough up queen, tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or, before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Hey, yo. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, she means it. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, Take a look at my attorney badge. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Angel. Well, first of all, who are you? Um, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. First so she probably means like the fucking convenience store next door. Probably. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? N no. Only true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone who has tried General Sao's Trilobite lunch set. Um. That. I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I love fish. I'm good. I, never mind. You win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a Trilobite's flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Y your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass walled booth? I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. You know, I will say, I will say, girl boss, get that money. Get that money. So, to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not. Okay, so what do you know about this case? Somehow, 
I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Salmon, you say? Destiny? Was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know that. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. E evil ones? Prosecutors. They have no qualms at all about blackening the names of innocents. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce. So she's saying... There was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um... Evil. Young miss. Mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough-up queen. The most heinous of all the evil ones, the one they were awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. R really? Really? I'm totally confused. <laughs> one thing's clear, this lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. Interesting. What did you see? So what exactly was it you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so... Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of the silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lena Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lena Sky? <laughs> of course. It's quite a feat, becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? Kind of bold of you to assume that. Right? But like, not every not every female who rises up the corporate ladder of any sort of business doesn't have to sleep her way to the top. Nor have to, she have to kill anyone to get to the top. Oh, about to or say. steal anyone to get to the top. Like, she could just be a hard worker. She always travels light. Andrew with the two dollars, the most evil lunch of all. Instant ramen. Damn it, we've been, hey, eating, hey, the hey, evil, hey, hey. we've been eating the most evil lunch our entire lives. Shit. <laughs> we must Listen, commit don't, our don't, sins. Don't you be shit talking ramen now. <laughs> <laughs> now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Yeah, how do you know her name? Did you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Miss Star? I sent some... hostility. Hostility? <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten-day-old clams in the chowder. Ew. That sounds absolutely grotesque, and I feel like vomiting now. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking. Uh, now you're talking, cough of queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor. Now I'm not so sure. No, she has a history. I'm. What if? What if it's just like some menial shit that like she like was selling food bunch like lunch boxes illegally because you need like a food license in order to do so, and she got her ass handed to her because of that. That'd be that'd be some grievance right there. Okay. Um. We're gonna go. Uh, no. We're How about you see? Take a look at my uh, attorney badge. Uh, there was something over there on the side that I missed. You know what? Looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy, I can't even budge it! The drum over here is on its side. Wait! I know! I'm in here! And through a stick. I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you might even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. What? I'm not suspicious! You hanging around a crime scene? That's totally suspicious. Alright, now has anyone logged into this? Never mind. This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an it's an egg. It's an entrance. Well, maybe it's both. Kind of like a dual purpose. Aha! The theory of relativity. What? Uh, huh? I've got to write this down. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Mr. Wright! Maybe oh. you know. Was Mr. Relativity German or was he British? 
Mr. Relative. Are you sure that was his name? Jesus. He still looks holy in this world. Look, a door! It must mean something. It's a door. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open! Mysterious lock. I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? I, I can appreciate her, like, wild imagination. Uh, tone it down a bit, sweetheart. Here, a phone! Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching! I can't hear anything! My ears. Oh no, my ears! At least due to the, baromic me uh, the baromic, uh, barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you in here just fine. The phone's broken! The phone's broken. Good to know. All right. All right. So I think we can fuck off. So we're going to go fuck off. Yep. All right. Um. All right. We're going to go to the prosecutor's office. Edgeworth's office? I know. Maybe? Well, because Edgeworth was just a regular prosecutor. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. What a change from your office, really. Thanks. Look, look! There's a trophy or something here! King of Prosecutions. A trophy? What? That shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever's office this is, they must be a real stuck-up jerk. Well, mind I mean, you, they just threw the they... trophy on yeah. the couch. I was say, why would you just display it on your couch? Like, you have room in that counter, or that little shelf back there. Exactly, so like, it's, it's someone who doesn't give a shit about this trophy. Is it edgy boy? Is this Phoenix, right? Yeah, it is. Look, all right. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. Edgy boy. I think if that's the case, then that little that other coat up there on the wall. I think that's his outfit in, in the investigations game. Oh, cool. Long time no see, Edgeworth. You know him from somewhere? Of course! I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us once, and... Right. Her sister is chief prosecutor, after all. You know, I also should have figured it out that it was Edgeworth with that chessboard back there. And I mean, also with the gigantic ascot. <laughs> I don't give a shit what it's called. The ascot that's on the flower and also on the outfit. Fair enough. <laughs> Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you. I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. <laughs> no! Did I? No! It was just Mr. Right here. He... Hey, don't blame me. We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? A body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the lot. Oh no, is it your car? Please do not tell me it's your car, Edgeworth. I think it might actually be his. Mm. Mm. That would be my car. Oh my I'm god! Of it. First of all, first of all, great choice in color. Nonetheless, second of all, oh no! I, oof! Oof! You say great choice. I say predictable. What? Your car? See, I think he would go more purple. This is Edgeworth we're talking about here. Almost everything in here is red. Purple. It looks red to me. Shut up. It's purple. <laughs> it's red. I'll say one thing. She certainly can scream. Okay, uh, edgy boy. Edgy boy. Edgy How you been, buddy? To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? No. Enlighten me. Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. To you, my innocence was a 
established in the trial at the end of last year. It's maroon? Okay, sure, let's get specific. It's, let's, let's get absolute- It's blood orange. It's fucking red. <laughs> now, you want fucking specific? Show me the hex color on that thing. <laughs> However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. The jacket on Edgeworth Wall is the fit he wore in his first case as a prosecutor. Ooh, that makes sense and that's cool. What? Yeah, about to say, isn't the investigations games like prequels or something like that? Perhaps, maybe. Because I, I could have, yeah, I remember his outfit was different in those games. Hmm. What? what? That's crazy. Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. Yeah, stares at the fucking cesspool that is Twitter. What? Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That on shield? There's gotta be a story behind that one. Um, okay, uh, can we actually talk to you? Uh, Maroon is 8000. <laughs> There's a hex code. <laughs> Love that. So, the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it. Don't Motherfucker, you? what is with you thinking that the, you did everything? What is with this whole, oh, I did it. You must think I did. Motherfucker. If you would stop assuming random bullshit, then maybe perhaps we could get somewhere. After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. We didn't even know you were involved! We didn't even know it was your car! No, we don't think you did it! I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Oh, now you believe that? Uh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean... Wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? She literally just said that she was the one who you, she would introduce to you by the chief prosecutor. Y yes, sir. I'm a sky. It's, uh... It's nice to meet you again. Now, that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, uh, now I remember. You've... really grown. I'll admit, it was a, pri it was a surprise for me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. Surprising still. I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. Oh, really now? I can understand. Wait, what did you just say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. Oh, so we're gonna go head to head. Great. You? Mr. Edgeworth! Okay. Um, so we're gonna go head-to-head, -head, buddy. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I've always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person. I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then... why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Okay, now you're twisting the details. If we're assuming that people are getting stabbed, it would be before they get into a trunk of a car, first and foremost. So they wouldn't stab someone in the trunk of your car. It would be stab someone and then shove them into the trunk of your car. Unless you assume, somehow, that they force a person into the trunk of the car and then stab them in the trunk of the car. So is that what we're assuming that's, here? Yeah, that's what he's making it sound like, is that they were in the trunk before the stabbing. So you know detailed information about how exactly this crime was committed, and thus you're giving me, feeding me information. Is that correct? Let's move on. <laughs> Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Wh what? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? I hope you didn't touch it. To be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Clever. Edgeworth's knife adds to the court record. The murder weapon, usually in Edgeworth's toolbox, traces of victim's blood. No prints. So gloves. Interesting. Um, Edgeworth. What? 
Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> what? You are so like, I'm sure you blame me. I'm sure you... Where was that a moment ago, huh? Oh, now, now that I'm actually calling your bluff on that, now you get angry? Fuck off. Come on, can he take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. No, it was like the fucking stare he gave him. It, it, like all I could hear was for real, right? All right, let's take a look at this. Okay, knife, knife, knife. The blood pattern here is kind of iffy. What kind of pattern are you expecting? The entire knife to be covered in blood, not just a small little blood print. This must be the victim's blood, right? Yeah, that or Edward cut himself peeling an apple. What Mr. Edwards was Mr. what Edwards doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wa Emma, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you think that prissy boy Mr. Ascot is gonna go roughing it in the wild? Edward? In the wild? I think my fruit feeling theory is more like Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoor Get the fuck out. <laughs> get the fuck out. Now there's a scary thought. Yeah, so, if it was truly a stab wound, the blood would literally be marked from tip all the way to where the- where the skin point is. This That's assuming that she, you know, who are, whoever the murderer is, you know, went all the way in with a knife. Because, I don't know, I don't- I don't think, like, she would stab, you know, all the way and just, like, barely go in and just, you know, do quick little shivs and shit. Here's the problem with that theory, because I know human science. If it wasn't that deep of a stab wound, he wouldn't have died. If he bled out, it would but have hey, to be I mean, enough to be a fatal wound. Because wounds will close up eventually unless they are deep enough to penetrate. And this shows that it was not deep enough to penetrate. This is a slash. Or maybe she stabbed the right spot. It would still be covered in blood. You'd have to get... Basically, if we're thinking like, for example... Okay, hold on. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, hold it. Let's take a look at this guy real quick. So, we're thinking average male build. We're thinking probably not even two inches deep where to get to the, get to the two inches, three inches to get to the stomach. That's still two or three inches you'd have to penetrate of just pure muscle and blood in order to get to the stomach. And then, right in, you'd probably think like maybe two more inches in order for it to be like fatal. So, it still would have to be, it still would have to be that. So yeah, this blood mark doesn't make sense. This blood mark would have to be completely covered in blood all the way, probably f like four or five inches. Yeah. Especially like you'd think like a little bit of the bile, the acid of the corrosion that might happen in some of the, m well, maybe not so fast, maybe not too hard. So it's like this, this would be more towards Lana's hand. I need to see Lana's hand. Yeah, let's let's move on before we're like st stuck here for hours just yeah, theorizing. Yeah, sorry, but I'm like I'm thinking maybe this wasn't the I don't think this is the murder weapon. I think this is a self defense weapon. Well, but it, it says traces of the victim's blood, so of the we'll victim's blood, that. maybe. Okay. So it, it could it, it, pretty hard case right there that this is the murder weapon. Okay. Um, do I really want to question any of these? Well, actually, let's talk about this. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Huh? What was that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. K K King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that... K. That's... K stands for king? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I thought it was gonna be clown. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't design the thing. King of prosecutors. Kind of like employee of the month, only better. Alright, king of prosecutors trophy added. Okay. Great. Why we needed to add that to evidence is another- Oh look, a ladder. Whoa! These are all case files? 
Now stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. <gasps> yeah, Gumshoe would be the one. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? He must study these reports so closely. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on the ladder. <laughs> Fair enough point. Is there anything here that I do need to actually take investigating? Show him the trophy. Oh! Uh, Edward. You want to talk to me about this? Well, first, I also want to take a look. What's this? The winner's list? That's what I'm thinking. Hey, check it out! There's a metal plate here! Mm, it looks like the names of all the previous recipients are engraved on it. Wow, one guy's listed a bunch of times. Bonk. I fucking knew it. I guess he must be a fort. Yes, he's a fucking vampire, sweetie. Watch your deck. Uh, yeah, that's probably it. Well, whatever he's from, he must have been an amazing prosecutor. I'd like to meet this Mr. Von Cut. Watch your neck. When she says it, his name does have a kind of a ring to it. I'm just gonna say, watch your neck. Alright, okay, so there's the hand holding the shield and whatever, sure, whatever. Um. Okay. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Edgeworth. Look at this. So, basically, this says you were the best of the best last year, huh? You could take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? Shut the fuck up! You almost went to jail if it weren't for me. I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. So your alibi is you were at the police department receiving the shield. The police department? Yes. Right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works. Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his reward, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? Yeah, figure as much? No, hold on. Actually, genuinely curious about something. Don't mind me. Is this a natural divot, or is this actually broken? It looks to be broken. I'm wondering if it's, like, legitimately a broken piece. Hey, the day of the crime, what happened? Can you tell me more about yesterday? The day of the, the, day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Ah, so that's why everyone was there. They were just cleaning. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old, old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. This is an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. Ah, stroking your own dicks, we love it. Right? I mean, you know, it could be uh, worse. You could just be stupid enough to blow your money on giving a police force a dance team or something. Right. And that's when you got the shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. Wait... When did the murder happen? 5.10? I don't remember. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. W. Mr. Wright? No. I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. There you go. Edgeworth's parking stub added to the court record. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. Ah! Uh, so, literally three minutes after he parked his fucking car? It looks to be so. So the murder happened right after you got back. What? Right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare somewhere. What, you don't like it when it's on you? Then maybe next time I enter in, you don't automatically say, I think you think it's me, huh? Shut the fuck up! Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth a... 
Anyone on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir. At the request of the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. When we see that guy again, let's take a look at his... Let me take a look at his hand. Yeah, straight up. Report. What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Yeah, his hand is busted for some reason. Why is your hand busted, sir? Why is it of the opposite hand that Lana's hand was busted? Hmm. That's actually very sus. We'll worry about that later, though. Er, Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. Then who the fuck are you talking about? I think I just heard Edward's lid blow. Mr. Edward's lid hasn't done very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department. Did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow. So don't bring me anything unrelated. <laughs> sir, but, but, sir. I'm just holding water, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the particularly severe injury with us, sir. Give me your name. Uh, uh, yes, sir. M M Meekins, sir. I was a Meekins. Officer Meekins? Right. Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. <laughs> oh, but, sir, I, I didn't know. Poor guy looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. <laughs> I know those look like just random dots, but they seem to be suspiciously shaped like a certain moose. Right? Right. Huh, what? Yeah, yeah, sir. God, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. No. <laughs> Let's see what he said. Why? Who cares about Ascot Boy? We just we're just here. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Really? The same department as Officer Meekins? Who he has constant interactions with? Interesting. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down at least. Um. Okay. Uh, actually. Nope, did not mean to do that. This. Ah, fine. I'm not. Yeah, okay, 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 fine, 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 whatever. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. Alright. Yeah, that's the only thing to do now is just go to the police department. Okay. Okay, park this up. Great. Okay. Okay, we're gone. Alright, we'll, we'll go fuck off. Bye.